got a demonstration here of uh, Freon's Mobile, and we're going to show you Freon's Mobile GPS tracking in conjunction with Freon's Mobile for CityWorks. So, uh, what this allows you to do is take your mobile devices, iPhones, iPads, Androids, smartphones, and tablets, turn them into uh, AVL tracking, GPS tracking devices. So, we're going to start with the iPhone here, and we're going to bring up the GPS tracking app. Freons, and we're going to go ahead and start and just show you that it's a easy to use, quick, simple AVL tracking. And we're right now uh, collecting uh, GPS points and sending them to our ArcGIS server, uh, both breadcrumbs and uh, current location. And they're just being displayed as, as GIS layers in our ArcGIS. So what that allows us to do is this is running in the background while in the foreground we've got CityWorks running. So I switched to an iPad see a little bigger screen here. Let's log in with our, our app and show you how this would, would work. Uh, we've got GPS tracking with our uh, field crews running in the background. And I'm just in Freon's Mobile for CityWorks. I'll come in here and say, hey, let's go to a work order. I know I got a work order uh, that I need to go to. Let's go ahead and search on that. There it is, all the great city uh, works functionality that Freon's Mobile brings you in an easy to use app. Let's zoom to that on the map. Okay, so here's our ArcGIS map. And this ArcGIS map, not only does it have our city works and utilities in it, Let's go ahead and turn on layers. Let's turn on the water layers, but let's also turn on our trucks, current truck locations, AVL trucks. And let's see if I've got anybody near that work order. So this is a live ArcGIS map, so there I can see I've got Bob. Let's identify him. That's his truck. So current work order, uh, there he is. Uh, Here's where time, local time, he was there. So I can see my current trucks. I need, see I've got a couple other trucks there. These would actually, if they were out moving around currently with my AVL application, they'd be moving around on the map. You know, let's show breadcrumbs. So now I can see my current GPS or vehicle location where my crews are currently in conjunction with my work orders and my hydrants and so forth and all my city works service requests inspections and so forth but let's uh, let's show the vehicle path I want to see where people come so let's turn on the GPS breadcrumbs down here I'm going to turn off my utilities just because it's a little easier to see them there let's go leave our trucks on we'll go ahead and, and zoom into uh, that leave those layers and here are my GPS breadcrumbs. Once again, this is a live ArcGIS map, and my GPS tracker is sending these breadcrumb points right to my GIS live. So here's my track. I can see I was starting to go down this street. Let's zoom out a little farther. The green dots, my work order that I originally selected. So I can start to see where people are driving around here. Let's zoom into this. Let's get an idea of what this information looks like, this GPS breadcrumbs. How accurate is it? And some other information on it. Let's turn on uh, aerial photos. Let's get an idea of where these points are coming in on uh, the map. So I picked this point because this is a good example that, that Freon's GPS tracker, once again this app running in the background, has been very refined and uh, been worked on for several years. Uh, one thing it does is uh, it lets you limit your accuracy. So I can tell it to, hey, only select uh, and put breadcrumbs down in GPS with accuracy less than five meters. 
So you can see I'm going down here a very wooded lane, very small, yet my GPS points that I drove up and drove back are falling right on the asphalt, right on the right of way. Let's go look at one of these. So here we have Bob driving 24.99 miles an hour on the 11th of uh, June at 12.04, working during lunch. Good job, Bob. And even the accuracy was uh, five, five meters. Another thing GPS tracker, France GPS tracker does is it doesn't truncate the corners of streets because it can set up and say, whenever I have a turn of greater than 30 degrees, drop a, a GPS point. So it's not truncating these corners. So now I can go back and in my GIS, arc map, whatever I'm using, not only see current location and breadcrumbs, but start to do some, some queries. Uh, where was Bob Tuesday? How far did he go? Uh, so forth. So there you have it, Freon's Mobile. CityWorks combined with Freon's GPS tracker. So now I can see my live vehicle locations. along with my historic breadcrumbs and my inspections, work order, service requests. So there's, I got my trucks parked around my parking lot showing that along with my work orders. So Freon's Mobile combining CityWorks with AVL GPS tracking.